I know it looks... I'm getting a laughing. I've been hearing the sounds of gunshots from outside and the sounds of bangs. What is up everyone? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've made it back and holy crap was tonight difficult. Every, I almost had about eight Uber drivers that completely canceled. Didn't want to take me here. I had a taxi guy that said it's too dangerous. I can't take you there. It's way too dangerous. And then on top of that, you had to get gas. I had to overpay just to get some sort of, you know, secure position to be able to come into this one location. And Jesus, tonight was more difficult than any other night for me just to get out here. I don't know how long I'm going to keep getting lucky to having access to this place. But until then, I've made it back here. And luckily for me, I checked in with security to see who is the owner of this radio. And a couple of guys that were here saying it's not ours. It could have been a day shift or mid shift person that owns this radio. But they're like, I don't know what to do with it because we're not going to see it. The thing is out here, nobody really cares or gives a crap. So I ended up holding on to it. And I said, well, do you guys mind if I hold on to the radio? Because I was getting some weird connection issue while I was kind of walking to the graveyard. I am going to have it on to the duration of this video to see if I can get that weird frequency again. If I do, I'll probably try to contact it or communicate with whoever or whatever it is and that being said wish me luck because I've had bad luck all day today and hopefully it doesn't continue while recording let's get into the video right now I've made it to an area where the people buried in this specific location is people who've taken their lives this whole area here is everyone who's took their lives pretty much the wrong way self delete I'm sure you guys catch the drift just seen a baggie in there. I'm not touching that. I'm gonna actually check this way over here. On my vlog channel, I ended up going to the top of that very mountain that I'm always showing you guys. That it's like very dangerous. And you can see this entire graveyard, which was surreal being able to see that. I don't know why, but tonight I feel a little bit more nervous than I usually am. You don't have to be afraid to talk with me. This is just corridors and corridors of tombs. I just hate the corners that this place has. There's so many freaking corners. Listen. I just switched over to my other camera. It has a better viewing lens at night, so I don't really have to have a flashlight turning on, and everybody kind of knows my position. I know it looks... Oh, there's somebody here. Missed that too. I heard a noise coming from one of these little rooms here. So, as I was saying, I know the quality looks a little bit bad, but it's much safer for me. Walked from this point over here to the right, definitely saw somebody walking. At this point now, I made my way around the whole facility. I did not want to deal with that. And I found my way to another side, like behind that area that I was just at. But holy crap, this place is so surreal. It's like I'm in a huge, I always say this in every video, but it's literally like I'm in a labyrinth. Look at this. This is where I'm at. And this is where I'm gonna be going. Should be a wall here. And down this area. It's gonna help me get closer to the kids area. I'm actually still right near the area where people are taking their lives and they're pretty much buried around this area. It's 
a pretty big section. Nobody comes around these areas. Last person scriggled a bit of a line there. You can see the amount of dust that it's not even well kept through here. Look at this. That looks like a child. The creepiest picture of Virgin Mary. I don't want to go back because the only way to get to this area is a whole lick mile walk to the other side. Whole lick mile walk to the other side. Whole lick mile walk to the other side. What the hell is that? That is so freaking creepy. That literally just gave me chills down my spine hearing that. What the fuck? I'm still hearing it. I'm gonna turn off my light. I think it's too late. I should have turned that off a long time ago. Let me turn off my green light. here what the oh my God. it sounds like footsteps like somebody running right over here sounds like somebody running I'm gonna turn on the light screw it Sounds like somebody running. And it sounds like they're barefoot. I'm gonna watch my left side here. Just in case. I don't know where the laughing was coming from. I'm assuming it might be coming from in here. I'm gonna turn on the flashlight. room before and there's nothing here besides probably where people take a shit or something oh my god that is freaking horrifying it sounds like footsteps running unless it's a bird flapping or something it's like something for the wall if you look here you can see what looks like a cross on the door I used to be here. Look at the of this room. I feel trapped. The problem with tonight is that I literally just got here and I'm making my way quick to the back. And um, 
I'm already picking up things and the thing is that I, I don't want to keep running back taking detours because it's going to take me forever. I'm already late here, meaning I'm going to be here past 12 to 1 or 2 maybe tonight. So I... I'm going to get robbed. I'm going to get robbed or shot or stabbed if I'm not careful. As of right now, I'm making my way to the area where I seen uh, the one individual that looked like there was a head or a flashlight and then there was a head sticking out of it. The hell is that? Is that a head? So that's the location that I'm heading to right now. But I am hearing bangs going off, but it's not in the cemetery. I think it's outside the cemetery. It looks like there's a weird light coming off like a glow. as quiet as I can in case the person's there. There is definitely something glowing. safe area real quick give me a second so i'm running into a bit of an issue right now the fact that there's two candles on highly means that there may be people still here because they look well i don't really know if they're fresh i'm gonna go in there and look but they're still on and usually a candle will last for like about maybe an hour to two hours so that must have been placed there within one or two hours depending on how much wax is still on the inside i swear to god i'm freaking hearing noises around me. I'm gonna go and turn this light off. I'm gonna go back into it and seeing what's in on the inside. Oh shit, there's four candles, not two. The two on the top went off. I'm gonna check this side over here. Oh my god, those freaking sunflowers. All right. I'm gonna make my way inside. Oh, I got like this headache that's coming out of nowhere. Hola? Familia de Loredo. So this is the first one. That's the second one. It looked like it stopped. Not too long after these, I've just been pulling there for a little bit. But as far as the candles, I don't see anything disturbed. I don't even know what the hell this guy was trying to do. What if he was trying to break in? Even if. The lock looks like it's untouched. So at this
Hola. Every time I get close to this tomb, this thing ends up going off. It went off right over there. And I'm getting frequencies coming back from here. Hola. Second, I'm gonna take a quick look outside. It literally sounds like a, a weird corrupted channel or something. Hola, tu puedes escucharme? Alguien? Háblame. Necesito ayuda. It sounds like it's a far away frequency, but I'm not sure what it is or what I'm hearing. I've had this radio at my house where I'm living at. I've turned it on. I haven't heard anything. No one's reclaimed it or anything, and, and I don't get any frequencies, but right here, it seems to be where I'm getting some sort of weird frequency coming on. And for some reason, the dogs are barking. I am getting some weird noises in the cemetery now. Sounds like, I, I think there's somebody here with me. The only thing is I haven't ran into them. Only in the beginning I seen something black crossing through a tomb. Listen. It sounds like people screaming. Who's here with me? Is there somebody here with me watching me? I literally feel like I'm being watched. I've been having that weird creepy feeling since I went into that one tomb. And look at this. It looks like somebody Lit a fire or something here. Listen. That sounds like a lot of dogs. There's a hole. What is this? What is this for? It has like wood on the side. Tell me what you guys see. I just heard something. I don't even know what the hell that was. I can't even understand it. I don't even know what the fuck I just heard. Hola? Alguien? I'm actually freaking out right now. That was freaking horrifying.
there's a lot of noises happening outside of this graveyard. I don't want to see the other entrance because I just heard a sound like a moan or something. Familia de Arriero Rodrigo. There's no other way out. It's just that little hole in this gate. Holy fuck, that was creepy. Hola? I'm kind of curious as to what's going on over there. There's so many people screaming on the outside. I just heard a little kid now. It's coming from right up through here. I'm making my way towards the front now. But I am just a bit nervous. I really hope I don't get chased by a dog. This is the first time it's ever been this quiet through this area. Sounds like all the crazies are out. see the people picking stuff up in the front. The sounds of the people screaming have seemed to be subsided. I don't hear it anymore, but I don't even hear any screaming. But when I was back over there in the tomb, that's where I was hearing the most of the people screaming. It sounded like there was a riot going on, but now I'm here at the front and it's all quiet. So I don't really know what the hell it is that I'm hearing, but it, it, it kind of threw me off a bit. And I don't even feel like I'm being watched as much as I felt like I was being watched over there. And I would hear the sounds of voices of people talking. That was what threw me off. I swear I thought there was like a huge riot going on up here, but nothing. I don't hear anything. And right in front of me, it's just a regular road. As I've been exploring through this graveyard, I've been hearing the sounds of gunshots from outside and the sounds of bangs. I finally found a little area where I think the sounds are coming from as far as the banging sounds. And I did see a light, but the light just turned off. But look what's right in front of me, right there. See if I zoom in. There's two people. I don't know what they're doing. There it is, that's the light I was talking about. I think they're lighting candles. They could be the ones putting candles around the graveyard. I don't know if that was the same person I seen the last time with the flashlight. are witches. Nobody's supposed to be in here right now. And no one in here is doing what I'm doing. And that area that they're at is a very, very, like, look at that. You see what I'm saying? What are they? They're doing some sort of dance. But that area there is not too far where the dolls are. And the witchcraft with all the pictures. I don't know if that's what they've been doing. It looks like a girl. It could be a girl and a guy. I'm gonna see if I could turn on the thermal camera to see what I see on thermal. It looks like they're dancing or something. Oh, that is creepy. I just heard gunshots. 
I'm gonna switch back over to night vision. I wanna see if I can get a bit of a closer look at what they're doing from up here. So I'm gonna move up through here and let's see if I can see anything different. I'm having a hard time getting a visual. I think I lost them for a second. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I got it, I got it. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But it looks like they both got something on their heads. And they're praying towards something. I really don't want to get any closer. They are praying, but they don't have the candle on anymore. I wonder if my IR will make me see better. Oh no, I can't see anything. Yeah, they are definitely doing some sort of ritual. Let me see if I can get out of this little area for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It is now 1.30. It's about to be 2. I don't know how the hell I'm going to get an Uber to get out of here. I would love to continue staying here, but I need to focus on getting my way back home. I hope you guys love the amount of content I was able to bring for you guys tonight. This place is outstanding. I don't know what the hell that they were doing, but the next time I'll try to go towards that area to seeing what exactly what was going on over there. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to see what I do in my personal life outside of Franco TV, feel free to join my Patreon. And that being said, I will see you guys in the next adventure. Bye, guys.